Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be going through how to create alerts based on studies within Thinkorswim. We're gonna be creating three separate alerts based on some of the most popular studies out there, things like RSI, simple moving average crossovers, and the MACD. Each one of these that we create is gonna be a separate alert, but at the end, we're also gonna combine them all and set an alert to only go off if all three conditions are met at the same time. Now, jumping right into it on the Thinkorswim platform, I will say there are a few different ways we can get to the alert conditions window. But in this example, I just want you to come to the charts page and go ahead and right click on your chart. Once you right click, you're gonna bring up a little menu here and we're gonna go down towards the bottom and click on create an alert. Now, once you click create alert, a little dialog box opens up and this is where we actually create our alerts. Now, for the most part, a lot of you are just gonna be using uh, simple pricing alerts. Hey, send me a message when Disney goes above 180 or below 160, really simple stuff. But in this one today, we're gonna create a study alert. And the first one we're gonna create is based off of RSI. For this one, we're gonna say, send us an alert when Disney is oversold on the RSI on a, let's say, minute chart. And to be oversold in the RSI, the value has to be less than 30. So to create this, what we're gonna do is go ahead and click on the word mark right here. This is gonna open up a little drop-down menu, and we're gonna go down to the very bottom and go ahead and click on study. From there, it's gonna go to some of the pre-made alerts that are based off studies, but we're gonna actually go down to edit, because we're gonna create our own. Now from here, it brings up another pop-up window. And this is where we're actually gonna start setting the conditions. But the first thing we need to do is delete what's currently in here, which is just the simple moving average. Once we delete it, we're gonna go ahead and add a condition. Let's go ahead and move that down to see it a little bit easier. And remember, for this one, we're looking RSI below 30. So we're gonna select a condition here. It's going to be a study condition. We're gonna come up here to the search box. And in this case, we're gonna type in RSI for relative strength index. We can see it there as the second option. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And on the left, you can see all of the settings for RSI. And we're gonna leave it as the default settings. We're not gonna change anything over here on the left. But what we are gonna do is go ahead and click on crosses below, and we're going to select a new condition. And this one's going to be a value condition. And the value in this example is 30. So we're gonna go ahead and change that value from 100 to 30. And we're gonna say within one bar, which what we're about to change is changing one bar from a day to a minute, but that'll be on the next screen. Now that we're happy with this, we're gonna go ahead and hit save. And now on this screen, what we need to do is change it from a daily chart to a minute chart. So now we're saying if RSI ever crosses below 30 on a one minute chart for Disney, send me an alert. So what we'll do is now go ahead and hit okay. And since we're happy with this, we'll hit create. And that's it, that's our very first alert. Alerting us if RSI ever crosses below 30 on a minute chart. And looking on a chart, that would happen when this line right here, if you see where my mouse is at, crosses below this yellow horizontal line. If or when that is to happen for Disney, we will get a message sent to our phone, either push notification, email, whatever your settings are set up as. Now the next alert we're gonna create is based off a simple moving average crossover. So what we're gonna say is we wanna get alerted when this blue line right here, which is the 50 minute moving average, crosses above this yellow line, which is the 200 minute moving average. So we're gonna do the exact same thing as before. We're gonna go ahead and right click on our chart. We're gonna go down to create an alert. From this little pop-up window, we're gonna go ahead and click on mark again, and that's gonna bring up a drop-down menu where we're gonna click on study down on the very bottom, just like before. To the right, we're gonna see the one that we just created, RSI crosses below 30, but we're not gonna use that one. We need to come down to edit, and we are going to delete what is currently in here, because we're gonna start over. So next, we're going to add a new condition. This one is again going to be a study condition. We're gonna come up here to the search box where it says look up a study, and type in the word simple. And that's because we're looking for the simple moving average crossover. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that, simple moving average. Once this window pops up, we do need to make a change on this one. Because remember, we're changing it from a nine length to a 50 length. So we need to come down here where the number nine is at, go ahead and delete that and type in 50. The next thing we need to do is go ahead and come over here to the right and say crosses above. We're gonna come back over and select a new condition. This one's going to be another study condition. And in fact, it's gonna be the same one we just added, simple moving average. So go ahead and type in simple once again up here. Go ahead and click on it in the list, second from the top. And this one we're gonna change from nine to 200 because this is the 200 minute moving average. So once again, what we've just created is an alert based off the 50 minute moving average crossing above the 200 minute moving average. So we're gonna go ahead and save this. And you can see my condition setup, the time frame is still selected as one minute. So we're not gonna change that, we're happy with it. All we have to do is go ahead and hit OK and hit Create. And that's it, we just created an alert based on RSI and the simple moving average. 
And remember that second one we created based off simple moving average crossover would activate when this blue line crosses above this yellow line. Now the third one we're gonna create is gonna be based off a MACD crossover. So MACD is down here at the bottom and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so we can see a little bit of a better picture of it. We're gonna create an alert based off the MACD line crossing the average line. So the value line crossing the average line. We want to be alerted when this blue line basically crosses above this yellow line. And you can make it a lot more complicated than that. You can based off the histogram if you want it to be above zero or below zero. But in the example today, we'll keep it pretty simple. So once again, we're gonna go ahead and right click on our chart. We're gonna come down to the bottom of this drop down menu and click on create an alert. From there, we're gonna come up to where it says price mark once again. We'll click on that. We'll go down to study and we're gonna edit it once again. Just like before, we gotta start over. So we're gonna go ahead and delete this out of here and we're gonna add a new condition. Now on this one, the condition is going to be a study condition, just like before. In this case, it's gonna be MACD. So we'll go ahead and type that up there in the search box, M-A-C-D, and we'll click on it. It's the very first one in the drop-down menu. And on the left-hand side here, once this opens up, we're actually gonna leave it as the default because we want to plot the value line, which is that blue line down at the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that one be, but we are going to click on crosses above. And once again, we're gonna select a new condition it's going to be another study condition because it's still based off MACD. So up in the search box at the top, we'll go ahead and type in MACD once again, click on it in the drop down menu here. And the only thing we need to change on the right hand side here is change the plot line that it's using from the value line to the average line. So once again, what we're saying is we only want to be alerted when the blue line crosses above the yellow line on our MACD indicator. So we're going to go ahead and hit save. It still has the one minute time frame, so we're gonna leave it as it is. One minute time frame looks good, and we'll go ahead and hit okay. Since we're happy with this, we'll go ahead and hit create, and there we go. We now have three separate alerts, all working independently of one another. So I'll get an alert when RSI crosses below 30, this horizontal yellow line. I'll get an alert if MACD ever crosses back above the yellow line. And I'll get an alert if the 50 day moving average crosses above the 200 minute moving average. And I know if you're watching this, I can tell that the 50 is already above the 200 and the MACD line is already above the average line, but it's not gonna activate if it crosses below, it's gonna wait until it crosses back up above. Now what we're gonna do is actually combine all three of those, which means we only wanna get alerted if all three of them happen at the same time or around the same time. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and right click on the chart once again. We're gonna come down to create an alert, just like always. Right up at the top, just like before, we're gonna click on the word mark and we're gonna come down to the bottom and hover our mouse over study. Now on the right here, you can see the three studies that we've already made, MACD, Simple Moving Average, and RSI. So if we needed to reuse these for, for Netflix or for Microsoft, we wanted to reuse them and quickly use them, they're over here on the right. And since some of them are already pre-made, we're gonna use one of them and kind of go off that. So in our case, we'll reuse MACD since that was the last one we made. And then we're gonna come up here to study and we're gonna edit that one. So now that we're on this window, what we need to do is start adding conditions to this. We already have the MACD condition, so the only thing we need to add to this is the simple moving average crossover condition and the RSI crossing below 30 condition. So what we're gonna do, go ahead and add a condition here. Just like before, we're gonna go through the same process as always, and I'm gonna do this fairly quickly since we already did it before. And this one needs to be less than 30, so we'll go ahead and throw that in there within one bar and add one more condition to this. Simple moving average, 50 crosses above. Simple moving average once again, and this one's going to be 200. Go ahead and save that. And you might not be able to see it very easily, but it is here. Let me expand this a little bit. And now we have three conditions right here. So the MACD value line had to cross above the average line. So basically the blue line crossing above the yellow line. At the same time, RSI also needs to be oversold for this alert to trigger. And the simple moving average, the 50 day moving average had to have crossed above the 200 day moving average. Now, since it's unlikely that all three of these are gonna happen at the exact same time, I'm gonna give these a little bit of wiggle room. So let's go ahead and click on RSI here and I'm gonna edit this slightly. I'm actually gonna say it could have happened within, let's say three bars. So it could have happened within the last three minutes. Maybe it's not oversold this very second, but in the last three minutes it was. And we'll also do the same thing for simple moving average. I'll say it could have also happened within the last three minutes and we'll go ahead and save that. And I'm happy with MACD. We'll say it had to have just crossed above the MACD line. So we'll go ahead and hit okay here. 
and we'll hit create. So we've created three separate alerts, all of which are working on their own independently. And then finally we combine them all. So the final one is only gonna trigger if all three are met simultaneously. Now to check on these alerts, which we just created, or maybe we wanna cancel them or duplicate them, we can come up here to the market watch tab. From there, we can go ahead and click on alerts, which I'm already on. And you can see all of the alerts that I've already created. Starting with the very first one, RSI crossing below 30, simple moving average crossing over, the MACD crossover, and then the one that combines all three of them. And if we wanted to, we can also just right click on one of them and say cancel alert if we don't want this to be active anymore. Now I know we went through that pretty quick, but I hope that answers all of your questions about creating study alerts within Thinkorswim. You're obviously gonna need to tweak some things a bit and get a little bit more comfortable with the tool if you wanna place alerts uh, on other indicators, but with a bit of practice, you'll catch on pretty quick, I promise. If you guys do have any other questions or suggestions at all, please leave them down below in the comments. And also don't forget to hit the like button on this video if you did find it helpful. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your week and I'll catch you all in the next video.